This question is talking about the client-server model for networking and we've got to be able to tick um, to say whether each of these events happens on the client side or the server side or both. Um, so let's talk through the differences between client and server and then what these aspects mean. So if we look at the client-server model, um, if you think about going to Starbucks for a cup of coffee, um, you often go and there's a queue of lots of people queuing for their coffee and just one or maybe two servers who are, are um, gi giving out coffee. Um, so, first of all, there's lots of clients, um, but few servers. Um, the server is stood behind the till, they're trusted with the money, um, they can take money out of the till and put money into the till, so they're fully trusted. Whereas you don't want to let any of the clients anywhere near the money because they're likely to steal the cookies, steal the money, um, you can't trust them at all. Um, okay, so the client goes into the shop because they want something, they want a cookie, they want a biscuit, they want a drink, something like that. They're waiting to be served. Whereas the server, um, it's their job to stay there for the whole time and they wait to look after the clients. And it's the same sort of thing in terms of networking. Um, so if we think in terms of computers, you might have a server sat on the other side of the world, I know California somewhere maybe, um, that runs Facebook. And then you've got a client, which might be your laptop or your tablet or your phone. Um, and you're, um, you might be waiting in a queue of other computers to be served by the Facebook server in order to, um, instead of getting your cup of coffee, you're uh, getting your website or putting your pictures online. Okay, so we also need to think about um, handshaking. Um, so uh, when you start a conversation or, or when adults start a conversation with someone that they've never met before, they walk into a room and they shake hands and it's a way of establishing trust, getting to know who the other person is and saying, I want to speak to you, I want to have a conversation with you. And it's the same with computers. When they first make contact over a network, the client first of all makes contact with the server to establish a connection, a link. And it doesn't matter whether that happens over a wire or Wi-Fi or um, uh, infrared or Bluetooth or um, fiber optic or whatever. However it communicates, it first makes contact to establish a connection. Then the server acknowledges and it says, yep, yeah, I've got your connection um, request um, and uh, I'm, I'm ready to talk to you. The client acknowledges that and says, yep, yeah, thanks for acknowledging. And then the server and the client can talk to each other. And this establishing a connection and acknowledging, saying, yes, I've received your request, is handshaking. It's that first bit of the conversation to say, I'm ready now to send and receive data. If computers didn't do handshaking, um, then the client would have no idea if the server has received the information. And the server would have no idea um, who the client was or who to send information to. So let's go back to the questions. Displaying an HTML page. Well, if you're browsing on your computer, um, you want the website to be displayed on your computer, so that's going to be on the client, which is your computer. Receiving messages. Well, um, your computer looking at the internet needs to be able to receive uh, messages, but the server also receives messages from you. You have to send it um, a request to say what page to look at. So both the server and the client will receive data or receive messages. So who starts the handshaking process? Um, remember, the server sits around in a shop waiting to serve coffee, or a computer server sits around in a darkened room somewhere waiting for a client to get in touch. So it's the client who starts the handshaking process.